classification of diseases <coughs> there are different types of classification of diseases in various classes of ayurveda from the scientific consideration classification of diseases given by susruta is considered as the best because his classification is a basic one in which we can include all types of diseases described in any patchy or sense of medicine his classification of diseases as are follows adhyatmik or pertaining to self b adibhotik pertaining to organism microorganism c adibhotik pertaining to supernatural elements ordinarily beyond the control of usual physical measures discussion on the above classification adhyatmik pertaining to self diseases of body and mind the diseases caused by physical and mental doses are called adhyatmik rogas diseases bhata pitta and kapha are physical and rajas and tamas are known as mental doses adi bhoti pertaining to bhutas means microorganism like bhuta prata pichasascha rakshasascha sarishrupa the diseases caused by microorganisms are known as adi bhoti rogas adi jaivi pertaining to devas demigods supernatural elements ordinarily beyond the control of usual physical measures the diseases caused by supernatural elements beyond the usual control of human beings and pertaining to jaiva karma or karma phala our past deeds our past deeds are called as आदि जैविक रोग सब डिविशन सब आध्यात्मिक रोग आध्यात्मिक डिजीजेस सब फर्दर सब डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री कैटेगरीज अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर ओरिजिन आदि बल प्रवृत्त और जेनेटिक डिजीज द डिजीजेस व्हिच आर कॉज्ड बाय फैक्टर्स प्रायर टू बर्थ और प्रायर टू conception are called adibala pravritta they are due to deform sperm or ovum therefore this type of diseases are again subdivided by two origins pitrija or paternal and matrija or maternal kusha leprosy arsha hemorrhoid मधुमेह डायबिटीज मेडिटास एंड क्षय ट्यूबरकोलॉजी आर एक्जाम्पल्स ऑफ दिस टाइप ऑफ डिजीजेस मेन्शनेट इन सुस्तुता संहिता जन्म बल प्रवृत्त और कॉज बाय बार्थ फैक्टर द डिजीजेस कॉज बाय मदर्स रंग बिहेवियर ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी and due to difficulty in the le- act of labor are included in this type these diseases are also subdivided into two types baja rasakrita among dorita apachara krita rasakrita rasakrita means due to defective circulation of nutritive element from mother to her child examples of this type diseases are lameness 
blindness, deafness, nasal spray, speech, dysphagia, etc. There is apacharaja krita. There is a means the desire of mothers in pregnancy for a particular food or particular regimen. If such desires are not fulfilled, it affects the fetus and produces some disorder. Dosavala pravritta, endogenic diseases. These diseases caused by physical doses like bhato, pitta, and kapha, and mental doses like rajas and tamas are called dosavala pravritta. Rogas. Usually they are caused by apocham means unwholesome dry and behavior. In the case of physical diseases, they are again subdivided into two types. Amasa samutha means originating the stomach and pakkasa samutha means originate in the intestine. These are of two types. Sharira or somatic diseases like fever, diarrhea, dysentery, colitis, hemiplegia, bronchitis, tonsillitis, and appendicitis, etc. and manasa or physic diseases like depression, mania, and insanity, etc. B. Adi Bhati. The term Bhuta means living tissue. These diseases caused by microorganisms, insects, animals, worms, parasites, Bhuta, Prata, Chata, Dakshata, Sarasrapa, animal birds, accident, owned, fall from tree or high place, and war wounds, etc., are called Adibhotika diseases. They are also known as Sanghata Vala Prabhita. The term Sanghata means external stroke or extraneous diseases are included in this group. They are also subdivided into two types, Sasrakrita due to weapons and Vyalakrita means due to violent animals or insects, bites. See, Adi Daivika pertaining to Deva. This is caused by supernatural elements which are beyond the control of human beings and pertaining to Daiva karma or past deeds are called Adi Daivika Rogas. These types of diseases are subdivided into Kala Bala Prabhita, Deva Bala Prabhita, and Sabhava Bala Prabhita. A. Kala Bala Prabhita pertaining to seasons. Diseases produced by a normal condition of seasons are under this group. These diseases are subdivided into two types by the Vyapanna Ritukrita or abnormality in the season, abnormality of the season, diseases like summer diarrhea, dyspepsia, heaviness in head, hair fever, etc., are diseases of this group. Abhyapanna, Ritukrita, or by without abnormality of season, diseases like burning sensation, Tremor, heaviness, obesity, etc. are examples of 
this graph b daiva mala pravritta pertaining to devar dgs pertaining to the devar pasdit abhishapa art implication of guru teacher siddha says rishi ascetic and avichara did of unbalanced people who know the negative type of mantras and other wholesome contacts are included in this type these are subdivided into the following group vidyut asanikrita caused by electricity and lightning pishashadi kriya caused by devils ghosts etc samsargaja caused by contact with disease person such as aids venereal disease tuberculosis etc akashmi sadan onset without known contact or contagious region natural causes like khudha hangar krishna thar nidra sleep jar old age jara old age and mrityu death are considered as swabhavara pravritta these are two types kalaja pertaining to time like old age after 60 the second type is akalaja pertaining to unusual time like early old age excessive sleep excessive hunger insomnia etc therefore groups of diseases in ayurveda especially in shushruta samhita are seven and all types of diseases are included in this group of ways of prevention of diseases there are some ways of measures mentioned in ayurvedic classics to prevent forthcoming diseases these are as follows a number 1 to avoid the causes of disease and should avoid the main three causes of disease like unwholesome contact of sense organs with the uh, with their object overuse disuse and misuse to intellectual mistake or ignorance of the true nature of the cell three no non attention to safety measures when there are seasons ever climatic condition b dina charja or daily routine and ritu charja or seasonal routine mentioned in the ayurvedic tracts should be followed c in taking up rasayan method rasayan mentioned in the classical tracts should be followed regularly d ayurvedic code of conduct should be followed Thank you